in mechanics we convert the linear motion to rotational motion and also rotational motion to linear motion how can we convert the linear motion to rotational motion consider a piston and a crank the piston moves inside a cylinder the piston and cylinder are connected with connecting rod as you can see when the piston moves inside the cylinder the crank will undergo rotational motion here the connecting rod converts the linear motion of the piston to the rotational motion of the crank so consider a case if we know the speed of rotation of the crank as 50 rotations per minute how can we find the velocity of the piston to rotate the crank at 50 rpm it is a problem engineers face when they design machines to solve this problem we introduce the concept of instantaneous center this is how we solve the problem using instantaneous center in the first step we convert the rotations per minute which is the frequency of rotation to angular velocity it is given by the equation omega is equal to 2 pi by t which is equal to 2 pi into n where n is equal to 1 by t in the second step we multiply omega with the radius of the crank to obtain the velocity at the point where the crank and the connecting rod are connected in the third step we locate the instantaneous center at the points connecting the connecting rod with the crankshaft and the connecting rod with the piston the velocities are marked as shown now draw perpendiculars to the direction of velocities and they intersect at a point i this will be the instantaneous center now we'll need to find the distance a i and b i for that we'll apply sine rule to the triangle formed by the points a b and i that is triangle a i b we'll also find all the interior angles of triangle a i b and then apply sine rule from this we'll obtain the values of a i and b i and in the fourth step we'll find omega a b using the equation b a by a i and in the fifth step we can find the velocity v b using the equation v b is equal to omega a b into b i